Thanks, buddy, sailor! Welcome to the one and only Battlefield 1 guide on how to become a sneaky bastard. Today we are going to kill enemy tanks, a lot of them. When I was learning how to instantly kill a tank, I had to sacrifice myself over and over again. Many times I died trying. I was so motivated that I've lost many lives on the battlefield and then you get this guy saying that. That hurts man, that really hurts Charlie. At the end of this video you will have absolutely no problem with taking down enemy tanks. If you don't know me yet and you don't believe me, then listen to the wise words of the Doctor Unknown. He was the unfortunate victim of my many attempts to kill him and his beloved tank. You will have to exploit their weak spot. Most tank drivers are very good at checking their corners, meaning that they are good at killing people in front of them or to the side. Like most vehicles, they have a blind spot. Most of them fail to see what is happening behind them. Some guys make this mistake because they don't scan for enemies behind them regularly and sometimes it just isn't possible because the tank that they're driving doesn't allow them to do that. To compensate for this, some guys start driving around in circles and then you will have to take advantage of their predictability. But more on that later. Let's start with your loadout first so that you know which specific tools that you need in order to dominate the enemy tanks. I don't think that it will come as a surprise when I tell you that you should select the Assault class. As you know, the primary and secondary weapons are totally unable to damage your enemy tank. So choose whatever gun you are most comfortable with because you will be needing it to take out a few guys who might prevent you from getting close to the tank or to finish off the tank driver who is making a run for it. Over to the good stuff. The most powerful equipment that you have to take down the enemy tank are the anti-tank mines. This should not come at a surprise if you have seen the how to insta kill a train video. These things are brutal and they do massive damage. On top of that, they will allow you to ambush the enemy tanks if you can predict their movement. I will always select this one as my first gadget because I try to look at my first gadget as the more defensive one and the second gadget as the more offensive one. I just do that so that it somehow makes sense for me. So you may select this as your second gadget instead if that makes more sense to you. The other gadget that you should select when you are focused on taking down tanks are the anti-tank grenades. It is a powerful tool, but it will also give you the flexibility to kill on the move and it allows you to keep your distance. You can also use your grenades to damage a tank. You won't be able to do a massive amount of damage with this one, but it will come in handy to finish off a tank that you crippled with your other weapons. So make sure that you select the light anti-tank grenade. Now you could select the pickaxe as your melee weapon because it can damage tanks. But the tactics that I'm going to give you are not designed to attack a tank head on with your pickaxe. John Rambo will be able to get away with it, but for most of us that's not really an option. You might think that this would be a one awesome way to finish off a tank. And of course it is, but then the tank driver is just going to step out of his tank and he will stab you in the back. So don't get caught with your pants down. You may select any melee weapon that suits your playstyle. Use whatever you want, because you won't be needing it to kill the enemy tank. Now that we have that out of the way, what are you supposed to do on the battlefield? Because let's face it, it's just you against the tank. I mean, the odds aren't exactly in your favor here. But let's change that and let's increase your odds dramatically. You already did half of the work by adjusting your loadout, so let's focus on the other half. There are two main strategies that you can use to easily take down the enemy tank. The first one is a full on assault and the second one is to ambush him. We are going to be smart about our full on assault because we are going to become sneaky bastards. Every tank driver's weak spot lies in the area behind them. Most of them fail to regularly check that area and we are going to take advantage of that. Before we do that you will have to change a setting because you are going to need your minimap. I want you to increase the size of that little thing that you now see on the bottom left of your screen. Right now it's completely useless. Open up your settings and go to gameplay, scroll down until you see the minimap size. Change that to 140%. This will make your minimap less mini and now it's usable. Now that we are here, you can also see that I changed my on foot zoom radius. I started out at 300 when I was learning the maps, but then I changed it to 200 for sniping. I will explain the range in one of the sniper videos so that you can use that as well to accurately estimate the distance to your enemy. I will leave it at 200 because it's good enough and you can change that on the fly in game. Now that you are ready to go, you know that you can earn your money by attacking the tank from behind. 
but also be aware of the fact that sometimes you won't have that opportunity and you will have to improvise. Use your minimap and be a sneaky bastard and try to make your way to the back of his tank. It comes at no surprise that you will have to do this while remaining unseen. This is a lot easier than you might think. Most of these tank drivers are so busy shooting at your bodies so most of them won't even notice that you are there. Once you get here, deploy your mines right behind him. Then take a few steps back. At this moment, you already killed him. He is dead. It's up to you to decide when that will happen. You have a few options. You can shoot your mines, they will blow up and then he will blow up. You can also throw one of your anti-tank grenades or your light anti-tank grenade at his tank. It will blow up, in turn the mines will blow up and guess what's going to happen to him? Exactly, he's going to blow up as well. This is how easy it is to take down a massive heavy tank with full health. You can always use the dumb and dumber approach and run after the tank but at some point somebody is going to spawn in the back of that tank. You know that right? Do you know what the greatest thing about the spawn screen is in Battlefield 1? Let's take a closer look because all you have to do is open your eyes and look. You can literally see everything. You can even pinpoint snipers. But today we can see where our beloved tank is going. And just by looking you can predict where and how you will kill the enemy tank. I was holding off my spawn until I knew exactly where the tank was going. So don't be rushed. Do not deploy on the battlefield until you know what you are going to do. My plan was to let the tank drive around the corner and I was going to use my anti-tank mines to ambush him here. You might be wondering why around the corner and why not sooner. The first reason is visibility. It's much harder to see. The second reason is the fact that there were a lot of friendlies over here. Which means that the tank was going to be super busy at shooting at my bodies. And he would have been way too busy to check if there were mines lying around. These guys aren't exactly thinking at this point. All it takes now is a little bit of patience and a backup plan. Keep an eye on the minimap and enjoy your moment of glory. This has been a very satisfying gaming experience for me. I loved trying to figure out the easiest way to kill these powerful monsters. I've seen and heard a lot of guys complaining about how overpowered these tanks are but really they aren't. You just have to find the right way to kill them. And then the inevitable will happen and they will be calling you OP. I hope that I've been able to give you a new way to kill these tanks. And hopefully you will be able to stop many tank kill streaks. If you can't do it on your own, then work together as a team and finish him off that way. By the way guys, the YouTube likes and shares are very helpful to me. If you think that this video is worthy, would you mind taking a moment to like this video and to share it with all your buddies. This was Fog of Gaming, thanks for watching and I will see you on the bell.